Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show how do we use integration backend. How do we configure integration backend to use OAuth 2.0? As you are aware, all the integration factory APIs in integration three must use OAuth 2.0. In the integration too, if you want to call factory APIs, then you are allowed to use basic authentication. But now in the integration three, this has been restricted and now you need to use OAuth. So in this video, I'm going to show if you need to configure integration backend to use OAuth, how do we use this in Visual Builder? Let's get started. So. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show the default backend. So if you see integration application is one of the backend. And if you go to the server and then click view, here you can see by default, it uses authentication Oracle cloud account. And then connection type is dynamic, the service support course. Now let's do one thing. Let me open an inspect and let's try to use the same configuration here. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a service connection here using catalog feature and then ICS. The first thing first, you can see it is using the auth and you can see here the course issue. I have paged a course issue, the course issue in, in my VB that is paired with Oracle integration three. So the, to solve this, what you have to do, first of all, you have to override the backend details, click on a edit and then change the connection type to use always use proxy maybe the factory apis of oracle integration 3 has not implemented course policy that is the reason there's a course issue so let's use always use proxy irrespective of course support and let's say save now let's click on a server let's click on an integration application again and let's see what error comes in now Click plus and then service connection and select from catalog ICS. Now here this time, oh, okay, so it's working now. So you can see I'm able to list all the integrations, right? Using Oracle cloud account, but sometimes you need to override that Oracle cloud account policy with OAuth. You want to use a fixed uh, you want to use a token based mechanism to call your integration or the Oracle cloud account. So what you can do, you can simply go there and then you can change the OAuth 2.0 resource owner password credential, but there you need to enter the username, password, client ID, secret, scope, and then token URL. So what client ID, client secret? So for that, you have to create a OAuth application here. Let's go to the default. Let's go to the integrated application. Okay, so here what I will do, I will deactivate this for now. And we'll delete this application because in a free version, you can only create two application. Click, let's say confidential application, launch workflow. Let's say OAuth 2.0. Next, resource con client configuration. And let's choose resource owner and then refresh token. And then here you also have to choose uh, add app roles. You have to choose add roles here. And then not sorry, not this one. You have to, this is my client. That's fine. Trust it. Okay, add resource. And there you have to add a scope. So there, make sure you choose your Gen 3, the same instance that you have used to configure your VB and then OIC. This is your OIC Gen 3 instance and then add. So, and then next, and then finish now and then activate your application. Now, when you activate, it will give you the client ID. And then 
you also need secret here. Save. The username will be your username. Save. And then scope will be this. The scope you need to take from here. All one. And then the scope. And then token URL. Token URL, you can take it from here. So go back to the domain. So I'll show you how to get token URL. How your token URL looks like. So this is your IDCS URL. And then OAuth2 slash V1 slash token. So first of all, you need go to default and copy this, put it in the token URL, and then take this OAuth2 and V1 token, put it at the last, and then save. All right, let's again try to create a service connection and let's see what happens now. And here you go, auth 2.0 resource owner password credential and then whatever API you want to call, you can simply choose from here. That's it, invalid service name, let's say ICS service. Creator. That's it. So this is how you can authenticate your integration backend via OAuth 2.0. I hope you find this useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.